here's a quick comparison between the LEM 50 pound non tilt mixer and their 20 pound uh, manual mixer. This one is manual or powered. You can hook it up to a number 12 grinder or bigger. Um, so I made about 130 pounds of sausage this last weekend. It works great. You've made it up to the uh, the grinder. Uh, it, it's it's nice. You, you can just sit there and watch it while the machine cranks it over. Um, it also can be a manual mixer. It comes with a handle. Um, it works good. Um, the only thing that I regret about it, and, and there's not much you can do about it, this thing is so big I can't fit it in my kitchen sink to clean it like I can the smaller one. So depending on what you're looking for and how often you make sausage and how much you do at one time, this 20 pounds is really awesome. You need 10 in there minimum for it to work right, 15 it really works good, 20 is the max. Um, one of the other things uh, I noticed too um, in the use and care, it talks about um, use uh, LEM food grade silicone, but when I read the side of the can of LEM uh, food grade silicone, it's not edible. Um, it actually says that it's poison and not meant for consumption and you, you get my drift. So I don't see the benefit of buying food grade silicone that you can spray all over your equipment to keep it shiny, but it's actually not meant to be eaten. So why would I spray that? Maybe they just mean to use it on the outside. I don't know. All I use is I use some vegetable oil, I smear it on uh, all over the, the equipment with a paper towel, and then I just use like a, a dish towel, a clean dish towel, and wipe off as much as I can. And it just barely leaves the film on there. It leaves it shiny, and I think it leaves a protective coating. Um, the other thing, too, is there's these little grooves on the side, and, you know, this doesn't come apart. Where on the 20-pound mixer, you know, you got to kind of disassemble it to take the auger out, and then you can clean out the meat and stuff that gets stuck in these little holes. This one, not that way. So I don't know if you filled it up with water, if there's a there's gaskets here on the sides, um, if that would, you know, fill this mm -hmm. little gearbox on the side with water. Same thing here. Uh, the only way to, you know, get things apart or out is you got to dis dismantle it. So... You know, it's a trade-off, I guess. Um, it works good. It's non-tilt. I don't know what the tilt would gain you other than if you're working on a high workbench, you'd get that courtesy tilt. It'd be easier to reach in there to dig it out. Most sausage I make, by the time it's done mixing, it's really tacky. So even if I did tip it out, uh, it's not like it's just going to fall out anyways. Maybe it's supposed to and I'm doing it wrong. But for my use case, I don't see what a tilt would gain you. I don't know if it's worth the extra money. Um, so i just making a video, hoping it will help someone. Um, there's lots of videos on people using this manual, uh, this manual mixer here, the 20 pounder. Don't, there's only one video out there is like the whiskey butcher or something. He's just Sunday having a whiskey Coke or something, mixing his Cajun sausage and that's it. But he doesn't tell, talk about it. He doesn't say the goods or bads about it. Uh, I think it's a really cool, uh, it helps. But again, with the bigger size, then it makes it harder to clean and then some other nuances. I'll probably use this once a year when I have uh, family and friends over to make, you know, 100 to 300 pounds of sausage. Uh, and you might notice here these brushes. These are the ones I use. I just go to the dollar store. And my favorite one's the toilet brush. It's in the dish, dishwasher right now. And what I mean by toilet brush is it's, it's like this, but it's round all the way around. That really works good to clean the grinder and crevices and corner. These I found I, I rarely use these. But I just label it as my meat mixer one, and you know, obviously I don't use it in the toilet and switch back and forth. It's a brand new brush that I just uh, clean my mixer and equipment with. Um, so there you go. Hopefully this helps someone. Like and subscribe if you want. I don't do this to try to make money on YouTube. Um, I'm just trying to help someone out. I couldn't find any videos to see what, what I was walking into. But hopefully this will help some of you out there that are debating or wondering maybe some extra stuff about the 50-pound mixer. Uh, enjoy.